Hello, today we are going to see how to share files and folders between a virtual machine and your computer's file system. So we have noticed that when we are in our virtual machine, we are not able to copy files and folders back and forth between the virtual machine and our computer's file system. The reason is the guest operating system in our virtual machine does not have access to our computer's file system. So today I'm going to show you a way in which you could uh, easily uh, share files and folders back and forth between your host operating system and your virtual machine. The host operating system that I have is Windows 10 and my virtual machine is Cloudera VM. It's running on a Linux operating system. So first let's go to devices menu. Um, the very first option is called a shared clipboard. You're able to see four options, host to disabled, host to guest, guest to host and bi-directional. I have chosen bi-directional. It means you'll be able to copy the clipboard back and forth between uh, Windows and the Cloudera VM. So let me show you how that works. I have opened a Notepad++ editor in my Windows operating system. I'm going to type something. Welcome to operating system. Welcome to host operating system. And I am copying this using control C. Okay, in the virtual machine, I am going to create a new file, new document. I don't bother naming this file, this is just for test purpose. If I do control V, yeah, I am able to see whatever I copied uh, from the Windows file. So similarly, whatever you type here, Welcome to Cloudera VM. You, you can just copy and go back to the notepad in Windows operating system. Do control V and you'll be able to see that. So uh, the limitation is with shared clipboard is you can only copy the contents of a single file back and forth between the virtual machine and the uh, host operating system. If the file size is too large, it will completely freeze and this option is not going to work. So there is another option called drag and drop. Again, this has um, four options, disabled, host to guest, guest to host, bidirectional, I have tried every single option and I'm not able to share any folder between my Windows OS and uh, Cloudera VM. So I'm going to show you a way that actually worked for me. It's called shared folders. So let's go to devices, shared folders, click shared folder settings. So here you'll be able to see two options. The first one is called machine folders and the other one is transient folders. Machine folders are permanent folders in the sense that when you share a file using a machine folder, it will be there even when you restart or reboot your virtual machine. Whereas the transient folders are just a temp temporary folder and if you want to share a folder, one particular uh, boot session of the virtual machine, you can go with the transient folder. Otherwise, it's better to stick with the machine folder. So let's go to machine folders. And you'll be able to see a plus sign. Let's click the plus. So the folder path, this is the, fo the path of the folder from our Windows OS or the host operating system that you would like to share. So I'm interested in sharing this folder, C, C drive ByteQuest projects. I'm copying the folder path and going to paste it over here. So make a note of the folder name. So it has just uh, used the same name as here, projects. We need this name uh, in the later step. So please make a no note of it. And there are three checkboxes. The first one is read only. What this means is if you are going to allow the virtual machine to only read the files and uh, 
if you are not interested in making any updates if you are not going to write to the file then you can select read only otherwise don't check this box the other two options are auto mount and make permanent so before uh, talking about the auto mount option let me uh, tell you what mounting means so in linux operating system mounting means sticking a, sticking or gluing a source folder to a target folder in the linux's file system so what this means is if we want to share the folder uh, c bytequest projects to our cloudera vm then we will be able to access the content of this uh, shared folder by mounting it so whatever files and folders you have under projects you will be able to access that in the cloudera virtual machine and when you check the auto mount option so every time you reboot your virtual machine your mount will be still functional so there is no need to remount it again and similarly make permanent means you are making the shared folder permanent so there is no need for you to again create a shared folder for every time you reboot your server so let's go ahead and check auto mount and make permanent click okay so now that we have shared our folder the next step is to mount uh, run the mount command so for running the mount command we need a terminal window there are multiple ways to open a terminal window uh, in the virtual machine you can just right click and select open in terminal option or you can just go to the top and click the terminal icon oops i have opened multiple windows let me close it okay we need to log in as root before we can issue the mount command so let's scan su the password is cloudera before we can run the mount command we need to specify or we need to create a target folder in which we are going to access our shared folder so um let's cd to home cloudera workspace create directory called projects okay let's check if the projects directory is created okay so we have a projects directory so now we are ready to go ahead and issue the mount command uh the command is mount minus t v box sf and the next parameter that we need to feed in is the name of the shared folder remember i asked you to note down the name of the shared folder um it's called projects and now we need to specify our target folder which is home cloudera workspace projects okay so now we have successfully mounted if we go to the desktop we are able to see the our mounted projects folder let's go ahead and open it yep the files and folders are completely intact suppose we are done with our mounting and we don't want to share this projects folder uh in our virtual machine then uh we can use unmount to completely uh get rid of this shared folder so the command for unmounting a shared folder is u mount and the target folder name which is home cloudera workspace projects enter okay so now the shared folder it got completely disappeared for more video tutorials and blogs on hadoop and big data please visit us at our website bitequest.net thank you